welcome to my room tour today. I'll be showing you um, what my room looks like, um, what it looks like from day to night, and I'll also be showing you and linking all the products that down below. So yeah. So this is what my room looked like before. It felt pretty small and it felt a bit plain. Here's a quick clip of after we took everything down. I got this twin bed in Malm from Ikea and this mattress is also from Ikea as well. So here I'm assembling the matching Malm storage cabinets and these go under the bed and I like to store my clothes in these. Every plant that I've ever bought has just died. So as you can see here, I'll be decorating the top shelf of my plant stand. I got one of these and I got two of these pots. So I bought this bear light from Nordstrom for around $30. Um, I have a small bear decor obsession, so I couldn't resist adding it to my room. Why is he so cute? Here's what the light looks like when it's turned on. I made this print inspired from Pinterest Aura prints, and I would highly recommend framing your prints. So this is me unboxing the Line Como Bear Fridge. I actually bought him from a Korean website, shout out to my Korean cousin, um, because he was on sale on the Korean site for around 200 USD. It was actually quite a process to get this fridge to where I live because I'm from the US and I believe they make this fridge in Korea. International shipping was super expensive, so I got my dad to bring him back for me as oversized luggage from his flight from Korea back to the US. Personally, I like to store water in reusable water bottles, plus some other snacks. I'm decorating the top of my cabinet here with a super cute Gizu hair set my friend gifted me. And I actually stole this wooden plate from my mom. It's actually a serving board for a cast iron that we originally bought to make corn cheese. So now I'll be unboxing this mushroom lamp that I bought to put on my nightstand. I bought this off of Amazon for around $30, which I thought was super reasonable. And they also gave me this little thank you note, which I thought was really cute. It comes with a light bulb, so after I assembled that, I plugged it in and placed it on my nightstand, as you can see here. So I bought this little mini tray to help me organize my desk space and also to bring food up with because I like to eat my meals upstairs in my room. I also bought this plant, which I ended up returning. Say hello. <laughs> um, this is the Jamon candle that I got from Ikea. I'm really into these like bubble type pots right now, so I thought this would be a really good addition to my room, and it also adds like a nice pop of color. I'm gonna take this, put it right here. Super cute. Yeah. It's definitely not a room makeover video without a mandatory IKEA haul, so come follow me along to see what I get. I decided to pick up these coasters as they were super cheap and matched the color theme for my room. This is one of the other mushroom lamps that I have in my room that you'll see a little bit later in this video. So this is me picking out a pot for another plant that I decided to add into my room. This is the pot that I chose to get and this is the plant that I picked out. 
Something that I didn't learn until later was that if you make an IKEA family account, you can save 5% off every time you purchase things in store with your family card. So that's a tip that I highly recommend as you can save a bit of money and it's super easy. This is where I decided to place the plant in the pot in my room. I wanted it next to my mirror. So these are some of the coasters that I bought yesterday. Um, I'm just gonna unbox them. Yeah, they just flip out like this. I think they're super cute. So I was debating where to add these coasters and I think I decided I wanted to put it here because um, sometimes I drink water or I drink some drinks next to my bed. It was a two pack. I ended up putting the second coaster on my desk um, and I'm gonna put my water bottle so my desk doesn't scratch. Here I'm ironing these satin pillowcases I got off of Amazon because they are a little bit wrinkly. Um, it was $12 for two standard satin pillowcases. I heard these are much better for your hair compared to cotton pillowcases and I also really like the look of them on my bed. The final touch after I make my bed every time is I have to add my little Villa Kuma Mochi. So cute. So here is a mini room tour of the final look with all the things that I bought and everything decorated. Stay tuned to see what my room looks like during the night. So I'm gonna show you what the view of my room looks like at night now when I turn on my ambient lighting and my little lamps on um, and also show you what it looks like with my projector on. So yeah. So to turn on my ambient lights behind my computer, I have the Govi Home app. Um, it looks like this. And then I named my computer lights and I just press on. And yeah, voila, you can see what it looks like here. This is my little bear, or my little speaker computer. I'm gonna turn it on. It's super cute, it tells me, tells me the time, um, and it also has like little buttons and I can connect it and play some music on it. This is a candle holder that I bought off of Temu. It was around $40 and I like to put my diptyque candle under it. This is my small Ikea lamp. I just turn it on like this. So this is my bigger mushroom lamp that I also got from Ikea and I also turn that on. If you see here, they add a really nice touch of light at the bottom of my room. You can see the information for them on the video. Um, I also like to turn this light on at night. There's a little switch. To turn on my projector, I got my remote, which is connected and I'll just turn it on. If you can see, this is an HDMI cable, and then that is the power plug for the projector. Right on. So this is what my projector setup looks like um, before I have anything playing on it. So I'll go on YouTube. I really like playing the Studio Ghibli loop. So this is what my nighttime view of my bedroom looks like. Um, thanks so much for watching.